What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I got an interesting one for you. It's kind of a fan service a little bit. You guys always ask me, hey, I don't have Sledgehammer. I don't have Rio. I don't have Nutcracker. What's another soldier character person hero that I can play with that is at least as good, almost as good as these characters? Because I'm going to tell you right now, Rio and Sledgehammer are hands down the best soldiers in the game. Unless you're playing with a super large magazine gun, then Bulletstorm, Jonesy, and Nutcracker become top tier. However, if you do not have those four characters, there is still one more character that you've probably overlooked that we're going to talk about. She is almost just as good as Sledgehammer and can be better if you're not running crit chance crit damage on your guns. Although that is rare, it does happen. In fact, there's an argument that the duet should be built as double damage. So with all of that out of the way, let's get into this video. Let's talk about Skull Ranger Ramirez is the soldier we're going to be looking at today. And there's a few reasons behind this. She has one of the best support team perks in the game, especially if you're using a soldier. But on top of that, she is probably the most well-rounded soldier in the game. With an amazing kit, minigun, ground pound, and grenade, the only thing missing is, I would say, a war cry, and one of the coolest perks in the game that increase your damage tenfold is this skull ranger ramirez locked and reloaded after reloading increases weapon damage by 15 percent and fire rate by 35 percent now we need to talk about that real quick it doesn't say assault rifle it doesn't say sniper it doesn't say shotgun it says weapon damage and because of that word weapon it works for rocket launchers shotguns anything pistols doesn't matter you can use this character's buff on any gun in the game so if you're looking for a soldier like uh rio right rio you only use hard hitting low magazine weapons on the bundle bus the rat king the hydra uh, if you don't want to play a character like that and you just want a character that is half decent at basically everything, then this is the character for you. She does lose out to Sledgehammer. She does, 100% when it comes to crit chance crit damage dps but if you happen to run your guns double damage and really spec into this character she can keep up and like i said in the intro not everybody has sledgehammer not everybody is going to have this character either that is a downside she did come out with the halloween event in november and she's a special character she's not in the collection book so that is an issue but besides that she is a well-rounded super fun character where you can do a lot of cool things with weapons with her because of that 35 percent fire rate buff that you do get so you can use it for slower firing guns to increase the fire rate or you can use it with fast firing guns like the silent specter to really pump out some damage so let's take a look at exactly what we're working with with her and then let's talk about some guns you might want to try with her she's definitely worth the pickup if you do have her or at least play her she's definitely worth it you might end up liking her i really enjoy this character let's get into the build so like i said this character happens to be very adjustable you can use her in so many ways you can build her a couple of different ways and it allows for a lot of different play styles to find a common ground. Locked and Reloaded, like I said, gives you an extra 15% damage and fire rate by 35% for 5 seconds. So you don't want to use a gun that really takes longer than 5 seconds to empty the magazine. So you don't really want to use LMGs. What you're looking for to get your most bang for your buck are fast firing, decent magazine guns, about over 50, that have a quick range reload we're gonna get into the build right now the team perk is hunter's instinct you guys know that this is going to give you 23 to like 50 percent 
damage increase during nighttime and 90% of the defenses in this game do happen at nighttime so this is my new go-to pick on top of that it heals you basically infinitely and you never die now the support team is this is there's so many things you can do here and this is what makes this really cool again if you're looking at like Rio you need to spec in a specific way to actually get it up like you wouldn't use startup on Rio it just doesn't happen you need a specific build this character this hero skull ranger Ramirez you can do a lot of different things first up we're gonna take make it rain make it rain not my favorite stat in the game because I hate headshot damage but it's definitely worth picking up here uh, each headshot increases headshot damage by 4% for two seconds up to a maximum of five so that gives you a bonus 5 10 15 20 percent extra damage for two seconds uh, but it repeats as soon as you get another headshot startup this is something that you might want to bring or you might not you need a magazine of over 50 bullets to actually get the benefit from this but luckily for us the wraith the silent specter the hemlock all of these guns are super fast firing the drum roll and have large magazines but you can also empty them within five seconds so I like to take startup you do not have to here if you don't want to if you're using a gun that's a little different maybe or pistols you could bring six shooter you can bring the pistol buffs from the outlanders you can bring uh, another one which is always survivalist is good or if you're using guns that hit hard first assault is definitely a pick too the only reason I don't like first assault a crit on like an SMG isn't really worth it I feel like the 25% bonus damage you get after this is fully started up is better in a pinch combines with locked and reloaded You're going to abuse the in a pinch perk to constantly reload and constant and constantly I have no idea what that was and constantly have an extra 15% weapon damage up and running all the time along with an extra 35% weapon fire rate assault crit damage now this is another one that you don't necessarily need to bring if you're running guns with damage on them you do not need to bring a crit damage character you can change that out for the ones that we talked about uh, you can make a little bit of a tanky build you can get cooldown reduction on your shockwave or something like that but most of my guns are run crit chance crit damage as as it usually tends to be except for outlying cases the best way to get the most DPS out of a weapon assault damage as well is something that we're going to bring here this is we're looking for base damage and fire rate instead of relying on RNG and crit chance we're looking for base damage and fire rate so if we take a look at what we could possibly get from this locked and reloaded this is almost constantly up so we're gonna give us 15% extra damage hunters instinct is anywhere from 23 to 50% extra damage it's different for every single gun in the game at least that I've come to find so we're just gonna pick an average number there and let's say we do 35% extra damage during nighttime make it rain we can get up to 20% here startup we can get up to 25 percent and then assault base damage is another 17 so we're looking at 112 percent extra damage during nighttime on the last 25 bullets of the magazine it really really adds up to do a lot of damage now let's talk about exactly what weapons work the best here and what you should stay away from because although this hero is very flexible and every weapon in the game can benefit from locked and reloaded, there are definitely some that are better than others. First up, and it might be a weird one, is the razor blade. This weapon has been power creep to all hell and back, sadly, but it's still and used to be one of my favorite guns in the game. I just haven't played with it in a long time. This one in particular is base damage and fire rate on it. And if you guys don't know what power creep means, is basically it just weapons aren't as good as they used to be because the new weapons can roll better. That's power creeping. So the razor blade, this one is fire rate and damage, like I said, and it it tends to shoot like a laser beam it shoots that extra 35% weapon fire rate which really allows the damage to stack up also on top of that startup is good here too even though it only has a 30 round magazine each bullet and it shoots three at a time uh, it counts for one thing of startup so you end up with a lot of damage another gun we can take a look at if you like running pistols you can change the build a little bit around and use the whisper a super fast firing pistol that does a buttload of damage on this build not saying it's 
has to you have to play this character you'll get a better benefit from playing ranger jess or calamity but this weapon definitely works well here too another one we can look at is the wraith you saw it in the beginning clip the wraith absolutely destroys however with too much fire rate on it the accuracy gets crazy so make sure you are up close and personal while using the wraith but it's definitely something to keep in mind as it really really pumps out that damage the last couple of guns I'm going to mention are all for the same exact reasons. The Silent Spectre for an extremely fast fire rate. The Bobcat as well for the same reasons. However, personal opinion here, I like the Silent Spectre better. You can also use the drum roll, but the other last two are definitely going to be the pain train and the hemlock. The pain train is just one of the best assault rifles in the entire game, and so is the hemlock, and they both shoot super fast, specifically the hemlock. All of these guns can be used on this build, which cannot be said for other builds in the game. You can't do this on Rio. You can't do this on other characters that spec into pistols and pistols only. Since her main perk is weapon damage, it allows for a ton of flexibility within the build. I definitely think this hero is worth a pickup if you can grab her or if you have her. Try her as your commander and see if you like it. I really enjoy using this as a well-rounded, every day, every kind of thing you can think of, killer, she just does so well at everything. That extra damage, although it does get outclassed by Sledgehammer, it still holds up pretty well. And that's really it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think I missed anything? Do you think I got it right? Have you tried this hero? Let me know. I'm interested. Let's have a little bit of a discussion about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check out the stream, twitch.tv slash rounded tic tac. I'm live almost every single day. And if you guys are looking for people to play with, we have a 1200 member discord, which you are 100% welcome to join. All of those links and more are in the description below. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one. Tic tac out.